Hello. Hello, Francesco. Hey. Greetings. Have you guys, have you had breakfast yet? Yeah. Yes. Yes, as it's one hour later, I we had breakfast already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> give you time. So what did you have for breakfast today, everybody? Was the first. Anybody? Rado, you arrived first today, I think. I have to translate it. <laughs> okay, this must be some Chinese. flakes, flakes with milk. <laughs> flakes like corn flakes or something similar. Yeah, corn flakes with milk. Yeah, and some nuts. Okay, great. Hello, Mook. Hi. Hi. Hey. We're just Hi, talking about breakfast. So. Andreas, what did you have for breakfast today? Today I I went out to the bakery because I did the, the Easter shopping already, got oh. up early and so I bought some rolls and uh, some croissants. Okay, Brötchen. Was it a brotchen? Yes. Is that? Yeah, we, we live in in the south of, of Germany in Bavaria, and here we say it's a semmel instead oh, of brotchen. Okay, it's so a regional semmel, right? And Francesco, in coffee, orange juice, and um, bread with um, um, marmalade, orange. Ah, oh, sounds and, nice. And and the biscuit. That's okay, nice. good. Yes, a good <laughs> fortifying breakfast. Yeah. How about you, Mook? I said I guess you had breakfast some time ago. Maybe you've had lunch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I usually skip breakfast <laughs> and start my day uh, uh, at. Uh, eat lunch mm -hmm. right. but uh, Thai people usually uh, have the congee oh yes the congee congee Con kind of like a congee. rice porridge isn't it? yeah joke joke yes <laughs> yeah and sometimes the the fry egg fry fry egg mm, okay yeah and sandwich nice and Natalia Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, Natalia, can you hear us? Can I ask everyone then we can come? Yes, on. I hear. Hi, guys. You're talking about breakfast, right? That's right. Have you had yours yet? Yes, oatmeal is uh, with the oatmeal with fruits, with the strawberry. That's why I love it. Uh, and Very mostly nice. I. I eat it every day, just it's my ordinary fry, uh, breakfast. Uh, coffee or tea, green tea and Chinese tea only. <laughs> I love only Chinese tea and drink. I try to drink only Chinese tea. And uh, that's it. Or oh, sometimes I eat uh, fried eggs. Uh, fried eggs? It's, yeah, fried eggs uh, on the weekend. Okay. Uh, on the weekend okay. breakfast. Yes, it reminds me of the full English breakfast. Yeah, but uh, fried eggs with tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. And Andreas, sorry, I think I interrupted you before. I just wanted to ask Muk if it's uh, a savory uh, breakfast in common in Thailand. The, the rice is it's not sweet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, rice in Thailand, not so sweet. Uh, you explained the, the breakfast um, mm. por porridge, kind of. Uh, I wondered if it's... No, it's kind of uh, uh, rice boiled with the soup and yes. some pork or some eggs. 
-hmm. So it uh, is a meal, not a sweet. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yes. Is it, it is sweet? Savory. No, there there is some sweet rice in Thailand. It's the sticky sticky rice can be sweet. Mm -hmm. You can have the sweet sticky rice. There's a way to prepare it, but this breakfast is not sweet. Okay, so we have two salted breakfast and two sweet breakfast. Yeah, for me personally, I kind of mix it up. Sometimes these days, I often have some sweet things for breakfast with coffee, but I sometimes I have savory breakfast as well, or a full English if I'm lucky, maybe on the weekend, which is fried eggs usually fried or scrambled eggs, bacon, tomato, maybe some hash browns, which are kind of potatoes, and yeah, mushrooms even, and baked beans, classic. Oh, wow. <laughs> classic, <laughs> a lot of food. <laughs> Sometimes the called the full Monty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, great guys. So let's jump in then to today's uh, slideshow and questions. Um, one second. So, okay, can you see this? So this is about what, what or which country's food do you like the most? Maybe it's your own, or maybe there's other particular cuisines which you are a big fan of that you often eat that are popular in your country. Hmm. Who would like to start? I, I just, I can start. I prefer mixed food. I just love, uh, for example, uh, traveling to China a lot. I love uh, fried rice. I just love it. And I love uh, shrimps and shrimps with, in the uh, in the sauce special like uh, sweet sauce and I love it very much uh, with, uh, with a pineapple. And, uh, so I tried to cook it uh, at home, but it wasn't the same. And so I just, I love rice and uh, some, uh, some kind of, this kind of food uh, from China. I love pota uh, potato, just like maybe that's the ordinary boiled potato. Uh, not like fried. Oh, okay, yeah, yes, sometimes I can eat fried, uh, like chi fried uh, potato uh, in McDonald's and such some kind, such kind of uh, food. But uh, what else? Mm, of course, pasta from Italy. <laughs> yes, pasta, pizza. Uh, and, uh, they really, there are so many kind. Uh, types of pasta and pizza here mm -hmm. and I love it so much. So I love borscht, but borscht is kind of Ukrainian, it's not Russian, but right, anyway, yeah. so just, I would say, yeah, it's kind of a mixed uh, yeah. mm, meals I like, from different cuisine. Okay, good. We might come back to that. I might ask about borscht. Mm -hmm. The recipe. <laughs> yes, perhaps you could leave the recipe for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I'm a... of... <laughs> Please. Um, so, borscht is kind of a soup if you like. Such, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, meal. Yeah. So, it's kind of a di different, um, it could be different ingredients, but also potato, like, and, uh, um, just vegetables and you can add meat and whatever you want, like. Yeah. It's kind I of love blinis too, from Russian cuisine. Yeah. Uh, with, with the fat cream, uh, the, 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 um, I guess the fresh the, cream. We often use the fresh the cream, fresh, yeah. Creme fraiche. Yeah. The creme fraiche, yeah. Also, yes, blinis are from Russia, are they? I didn't know that. It's a tradition uh, in our family to have them at New Year with smoked yeah, salmon. And yeah, yeah, and caviar. Well, maybe. I, ah, okay. Not <laughs> yeah, I'm I have sorry. a Russian um, um, shop near my home, and so sometimes I go there, and they are big. Uh, oh, cucumbers! 
uh, that every kind of cucumbers I never eat so good, so uh, such good uh, cucumbers uh, uh, with salamoy. Uh, it's um, amazing things that I don't know how to cook. <laughs> anyway, uh, my favorite country food is for sure Chinese food. Okay, is that popular in in Italy generally? Yeah, yeah. Many Chinese yeah, restaurants. Many, many, and and now in in the last years, um, with uh, the different type of uh, regional uh, Chinese uh, cook. Uh, yes, of course, the regional because, cuisine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Once there was just the um, Mandarin one, uh, right. with the uh, usual things, uh, spring rolls, and, uh, but nowadays uh, they are changing and uh, they are uh, very, uh, uh, you, can, you can find different type of, uh, uh, of food uh, from, from China and it's very, and the, the, uh, the, the way they cook, they, they use the, 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 the spicy is, is amazing. And of course, after the Italian cuisine. <laughs> okay, good <laughs> qualification. Somebody else. Andreas, yeah, I am. I, I'm quite uh, open-minded in terms of of uh, different food. So I. I'm not uh, very determined, but I have uh, had a, favor, a favorite cooking book that was from, from Italy. And uh -huh. what I like uh, at these recipes are the, yeah, there are a lot of recipes uh, using different vegetables. Um, this is, what I like um, cooking with even blossoms of, of zucchini or um, yeah, so this was my, my favorite book for a long time. Now there's uh, another one I also like very much. It's a Lebanese uh, ah. cooking book, uh, cooking in a modern Lebanese style and it's, it's quite experimental. Uh, um, we, uh, what I like at Lebanese cooking is are the, the lots of spices and, and herbs. Yeah. So there are a lot of different flavors and um, star anise and uh, coriander, mint, and these things. Uh, in combination with uh, a modern style of cooking, but yeah, as I said, I'm I'm open to to new experiences, and this is what makes cooking and eating so amazing. There's never never an end, and every time there are things to explore. Yes, right. Never quite stands still, does it? Always evolving. Okay, oh. so, Muk. <laughs> I uh, I love Thai food because it's strong of taste and uh, especially the spicy taste. Mm -hmm. And there are many dishes uh, around Thailand and is different in the taste depends on the region of the, the, the of Thailand. But sometimes when uh, my family and I dining out, we prefer to try the Japanese or uh, the pasta restaurant. Yes. Why is that? Because uh, we eat Thai food every day. And when uh, on special okay special occasion, we uh would love to try the the new taste and with the new um presentation. So we choose the 
different uh, type of food from the from our daily routine. Yes, that makes sense. And which uh, which of the regional cuisines of Thailand do you prefer? Do you have a favorite? I prefer the not uh, east uh, not east region mm, because it is Isan food because it is uh, it's kind of the especially sometimes the papaya salad. Mm, yeah, it's a great it's of, uh, flavors. Uh, the spicy, sour, and the uh, um, like a it's very delicious for me. <laughs> And even sometimes you can have different versions, can't you? Yes. Like the subtempo pala. Do you like these? Oh, can you explain? <laughs> <laughs> can yeah. you explain what they are? Uh, the papaya salad have the, the original one with is uh, sweet and sour with the soft taste, but for the another type is the one that add the fermented fish which has a strong taste and strong smell mm, and yes. someone someone doesn't like it but it's too uh, much for me <laughs> yeah it's it's too, too strong, strong for yeah. friends. yes but uh my family and i prefer the the, the fermented one over the original one mm, yes my wife as well she likes that <laughs> is it and the, the, the because of the, the the smell or or the taste yes the smell and the taste i, I have tried it i just can't get both. used to it both yeah. and even the appearance it has this kind of yeah for me it's just too much i'm, I'm pretty experimental but yeah i can't get to okay. like that <laughs> So Rado, I think we have yet to hear from you only. Yeah, so I, I like uh, food which is light and a and lot of vegetables, pasta and, and maybe fish. Uh, this, this Italian and uh, Greek food, I'm open-minded and, uh, and I can eat everything but I prefer something what is light. Spa it can be spicy or a lot of herbs inside and the mix mixture of, of uh, different uh, uh, tastes in, in, one, in one food. But yeah, maybe Greeks, Italian food is the best for me. And how about the local dishes there in, in Slovakia or in um, Czech? Czech Republic. Well, <laughs> is there much of a difference? Uh, we are we are in the middle of the Europe, uh, so it's a mix of all all other countries, and we have some specialities which which are located in in the Czech Republic or or in Slovakia. But it's, it's, I don't know. It's usually it's a mix of of for all other countries which are around around uh, us so it's like a general europe europe uh, kitchen or food kind of food okay all right thank you let's uh, move on then and ask about some special foods on holidays it is at least in i think the catholic church or the you know the christian Protestant and Catholics. It is Easter weekend. I remember eating chocolate, eggs and things over this weekend, usually on Sunday for tomorrow. Children in the UK and, and the US and many country, many other countries will get this chocolate. So how about you? Do you guys celebrate Easter or are there any other foods that you eat on special days? But in Russia, we celebrate Easter later than Catholic. And uh, yes. it's about, I, I'm not sure about the date. It's in May. I know that. So just in two or three weeks after Catholic yeah, right, Easter. Yes. Yeah, but anyway, special food, not chocolate. Uh, it's about some cakes. Cakes, uh, they, they have a special recipe. 
uh, a lot of eggs there there are in these cakes and they are very delicious and so uh, so in Russia we call them kulichi so that's <laughs> that's kulichi. special so it's very yeah kulichi yeah uh, it's it's very delicious and I love them so much so that's uh, and it's of course traditionally if you if you cook this uh, cake so uh, it, of course it's uh, but it's a very difficult recipe so you have to uh, to prepare it several hours so you have to wait it's kind of like a dough should uh, how it should, <laughs> should grow up and so you have to I don't know how to explain but anyway it's, it's really not easy like uh, raised, <laughs> raised, the yes, yes, it should raise several times, so, so you have to, it's, it's a very long process, but it's very delicious. So I love it so much. <laughs> Sounds nice. How about the others? Do you have a special meal plan for tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I, I didn't decide, maybe. But anyway, most of the people kills, uh, kill uh, lamb and then cook lamb in Italy. I don't know. It's very brutal. <laughs> and they have to wait. Uh, but talking about something good for uh, about Italy, we have um, the, the most famous is, we call it Colomba, and it's kind of cake. Uh, with the almond on on the top and okay. crispy sugar and then it's very uh, soft uh, and and high uh, and it's and the form and the the, the shape it's a, it's a dove so the name uh, colomba is, is a dove and it's you the can bird, the, the dove yeah the bird yeah the dove uh, yeah okay. and uh, you can uh, so you can uh, eat an animal without uh, kill any. <laughs> <laughs> Much more, <laughs> yeah. yeah, humane. <laughs> In the shape of a dog, and uh, and uh, it's very famous. Um, um, a cake from Naples, uh, and it's called it pastiera, and it's a cake. Um, it's a traditional cake, uh, round shape, um, with. Um, um, uh, orange flower uh, in the uh, with the, uh, a, a fresh uh, um, fresh a fresh cheese uh, in the in the uh, how can I say when you do the the the, the, the inside of the of the cake yes uh, most sometimes the cake mix or the, the dough yeah yeah we used before. Uh, they put the ingredients together with the, uh, it's um, wheat, uh, yes, wheat, uh, wheat, uh, and flour. and uh, uh, no, not flour. Okay. Uh, really, the, the 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 grain of uh, of the uh, of the wheat. Ah, okay, right. mix those um, orange uh, um, flower smell. Mm. Mm. It's a no, it's a wonderful cake. Very uh, heavy, very filling, very heavy. <laughs> yeah, but very uh, the, the 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 smell is good and uh, it's uh, the taste is uh, amazing. And of course, we have interesting Easter eggs. Right, good. Nice. Okay, thanks. Andreas, are you planning a special meal tomorrow or something? Yeah, normally, um, holiday f or traditional holiday food is, is linked to meat. Um, as Francesco said, uh, it's common to <laughs> to eat a joint of lamb on on Easter, right. and the same on on the other holidays on, on Christmas, uh, poultry and and so on. Um, but we we don't eat so much meat, so it's difficult to say what is traditional <laughs> holidays food <laughs> for us. Um, 
yeah but we also as francesco said we have a, a special cake for easter uh, prepared with yeast and so we we, we we are baking the lamb preparing a dough including yeast and flour and um, have special forms to fill the dough in and then there's there's a baked lamp and right. what is also a, a tradition for easter is a, to prepare a ring out of a baked ring and you put the the colored x onto the ring and uh, it looks quite um, yeah looks looks nice and uh, you take the tradition is to take uh, this bakery um, this baked products and some eggs and ham and salt into the church and then it's um, praised yes or blessed blessed in the church Yeah, so this is not so uh, nourishing, but several small pieces of, of food. Ah, interesting. Oh. <laughs> yes, okay. Any other, anything else to add on this special foods on holidays? In Thailand, there is no special food on holidays, uh, but some uh, occasion like a, a Chinese New Year in the family that uh, have uh, migrated from Chinese uh, a long time ago, they might uh, uh, celebrate Chinese New Year with the food that they believe that uh, give them the good meaning of, of life. For example, the long noodle for the new beginning and the long life. Yeah, I heard about that. Yes. Long noodles. But for other holidays, there is no food that are uh, suitable or uh, that are special for, the, for each one. Okay. All right. Thanks. So maybe I'm going to move on now. What is the <laughs> strangest food? <laughs> I could have put some worse ones up here, but I don't mean to offend anyone. Maybe you, this is what your, your, your favorite speciality, but <laughs> I guess for different people, different things might seem strange. So maybe, uh, yeah, who, <laughs> who has eaten anything? Ex exotic strange. Yes. I think it's ex exotic and strange because that uh, sometimes we are really scared to try so that, that if they're normal cook it's an ordinary meal but that it looks strange for us and so we just try we are really scared to, to try so my um, just what came to my mind about strangest food I've ever eaten is the jellyfish it was in China, oh, and you know, yeah, yeah, it was a very interesting experience. But uh, it it looks like gristle, you know, like chicken gristle. I don't know if, if it's correct for gristle. And uh, when you yes. chew in it, it's kind of like mm, it's not a meat. It's kind of like so. I don't like this kind of uh, um, uh, quality. There's such kind of quality. Of Maybe the texture. Yeah, the texture. That's why I didn't like it. Yes, maybe just. Uh, but they told me that it's exotic, it's very expensive, and so just uh, they try to uh, to to press me and impress me. I don't know. And sorry, guys. I prefer your um, uh, I don't know fried rice and shrimps. That that's my favorite food that I can eat uh, during the whole day <laughs> three times. Yeah, yes, that's fair fun. enough. <laughs> It is difficult because it depends. We we eat snails, for example, and people don't don't like to eat snails or the idea of the snails 
mm. this strange wheat frog, uh, fried frog. We we eat. I mean, not not all the Italian in in some areas. It's very famous the, the, yes. to to eat. And fried French people frog. are known to eat these. The legs is it the legs you eat of them. Yeah, yeah. And the, it's like very. It's, it's mm, tastes like chicken. Yes, it's, I think uh, so. it's good. Everything is good when it's fried. Anyway, True. <laughs> probably. But the strangest food they have ever eat, eaten was uh, a worm, right. uh, the gusano. In, in the, <laughs> it was in a bottle, uh -huh. and to be friend with, um, uh, he was a Colombian friend, uh, and they share the worm, and you have to eat. A, a part of the worm uh, that is in the bottle of is liqueur. in the bottle of uh, of uh, of alcohol. Uh, yes, of course, right. after you drink the bottle, you can eat the, the worm. And mm. I don't remember it? the taste. <laughs> <laughs> Alcoholic. <laughs> but we eat a, a lot of strange things that other countries are not um, uh, used to. Yes, right. In my homeland, haggis is quite, is quite the famous food. It's quite strange, I suppose. Yeah. And so. th this is the, the, the first one on the left is the Chinese eggs. Uh, that's um, right. Sometimes called the hundred year eggs, I think. Yeah, yeah. I never ate because of the smell, I think. And I, it, it makes me nervous, the idea <laughs> of the thousand eggs, <laughs> thousand years eggs. Oh, yeah, maybe thousand years. <laughs> maybe not, but. <laughs> they have some good ones in the market here in Thailand. They have the pink eggs, which have a funny name. Kayoma, is that right? Which is like horse pee, horse urine eggs. I don't know why they have this name, but uh, <laughs> people always ask me about that. I think it's something similar to this, these fermented eggs. Does anybody ever eat uh, insects or ants? Yes. Or, uh, yes. You, 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 there, you is a, there is a local insect booth not far from where I live. Sometimes. I have eaten them before. I find usually if you if you have alcohol, it helps with a few beers. <laughs> Some of these grasshoppers, fried grasshoppers, are okay. not too bad. Quite crunchy. Uh, crispy. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <Okay. laughs> I'm have, not a big I fan of these. Mm -hmm. I haven't okay. tried the fried worms, but my friend loved it so much. And she said that it's, like a, it's salty and it's creamy and it's crunchy and flesh is everything favorite. everything you, <laughs> yeah. need, you need <laughs> they're supposed yeah. to be very nutritional so. yeah. it's high in protein yes there's a very famous and a very strange cheese in in, uh, in sardinia uh, that is famous because the the, the worm uh, uh, there's a, a fly they mix the worm and then they leave the, the cheese with the worm and inside and it and became a cream very um very strong at the taste and uh, and uh, people um, get crazy with this kind of cheese but it's uh, uh forbid to to sell of course <laughs> in these days uh, and there's a, a black market about this cheese and wow. people uh, drive crazy to to eat this this cream, and now there's a, there's a, you can find the the, the uh, little um, um, uh, the, the, the little, con, little in in very small uh, container uh, the the, the okay. this kind of cream. I think it's uh, it's just the same taste and the same uh, softness, but without uh, worm. Um, anyway, the, the worm are very little, but they jump. It's uh, <laughs> when I saw one time, I said, "No, never in my life." <laughs> I'm glad that you? I had breakfast already. 
<laughs> Good point. Yes. Rado, any weird and wonderful things that you have eaten? Well, I had eaten uh, grasshoppers when I was in Thailand. Okay. How did you find them? And, uh, yeah, it was it was fine. It was. I I had. Uh, I had had information about the taste before, many, many years before. So there was some party and after some alcohol, somebody bring, brought these this fried grasshoppers. And I was like, I already knew what, what the taste would be. So it was without any barriers. But then they offered uh, what is on the, on the picture at the bottom. Oh, yeah. These worms, these these sort of worms or grubs or worms, yeah. And <laughs> then the barrier was <laughs> suddenly huge, and I, I, I thought, no, I refused it. So <laughs> I, I tried uh, grasshoppers, uh, but not, mm. not these worms. Fair enough. Yes, one step at a time. <laughs> mm. Yeah. In the future, we will eat uh, so many insects that probably someone said this very. Mm, they have a lot of protein. Uh, yeah, I've heard, I've, I've read some articles yeah. which kind of indicate that. Okay, so again, we are running kind of short on time, but maybe some thoughts from everybody about how food has changed during the lifetime. Really, we haven't had much chance to talk about culture and how we approach food this today. Maybe I will speak to you guys individually, but... Um, are there any changes that you've noticed maybe in the way that we approach food these days? Everybody seems to order delivery. Is that the same? Have you changed a lot your, your habits? I think that the main point is that we have different kind of food. We have a lot of snakes and there is a really big industry and production. And so we have a lot of choice and that you send an article that was really described. We have, uh, different types of food and we can eat not three times we can eat uh whatever we want whenever we want so just uh, so just to go to the supermarket we can buy ready food so of course we have some health problems because our sedentary life and so just we drive to to the office and sit in the, in front of the computer and uh back in the after the office so in front of tv so just we are sit and not so active and so like we have so many problems and so, i mean just because we eat more than we uh spend so spend energy yes universal thing that we have now good point thank you Natalia. I think the, the awareness has increased of what we are eating. We have a big choice and we have the opportunity to, to select what we want to eat. And we, we are better informed of ingredients than in previous times. Very true, yes. And we're, we're given much more information, aren't we, on the, the labels on food in general. Hmm. Yes. Any other final thoughts to add? Sorry, we're going to be cut off again. Yeah, yeah, we we're gonna to say our greets because it's just less than a minute. Less and, than a minute. Uh, yes, you're right. So yeah. perhaps I should <laughs> say goodbye to everyone. Thank you for joining me. Right. Thank and you. See you guys Bye. soon. Have a happy Easter. Happy holiday. <laughs> happy yes. Easter. Yeah. Good day. Bye. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye now.